Hi everybody, I'm Stefan for cgtutsplus.com and in today's quick tip we are going to take a look at another free plugin for Cinema 4D from biomech.com and let's go to the free plugins section and this is the plugin that we are going to take a look at which is called Watermark and you can download the plugin for the version of Cinema 4D you're using for and just extract the zip file into your Cinema 4D plugins folder and you're ready to go so let's jump into Cinema 4D and see how the plugin works and let's create a simple scene here with a couple of objects and let's drop a plane here and just scale it up and basically this is how our scene is going to look like let's add a quick white so it not look so bad and let's move the white here and turn on the camera and as you can see this is our scene and basically what this plugin does it adds a watermark on top of your render it's a post effect so you can add it by clicking here and it's at the very bottom of the drop down menu it's off the screen but it's there so I'm going to click it and this is the effect as you can see and basically that can save you a lot of time if you're rendering a previews for your clients and instead of going to Photoshop add your watermark and then save the image and send it to your clients you can directly overlay your watermark in Cinema 4D so this is pretty helpful and it's a time saver plugin so let's create a new shader and how we are going to put our image here is using the shader going to the color channel and load the image and choose the CGTS Plus logo and let's turn off specular and let's drop the image here so if I'm going to render this you can see the CGTS Plus logo appears on the screen we have a alpha control for example if we have only the CGTUS Plus title without the base we need to import the alpha as a separate shader or we can do it using this shader just go to alpha and load the alpha map and then put the shader right here in this field and choose the alpha channel and this way it's going to take the alpha from the shader Another thing we have is a opacity controller here so you can put the opacity to 25% and render and as you can see the logo is transparent. We have a blending mode so we can overlay the logo on top of everything and if we increase the opacity you can see how it is going to look like. We have a absolute size control but as you can see uh, this option does not allow us to keep the original aspect of our image and it is deformed so you can increase the size with these sliders here like so and this is pretty big logo overlay and let's drop this down to 25% Another thing we have is a positioning options. For example, we can put the logo in the left part of the image or the right part of the image as you can see and we can set it to the top of the image right here or we can set it to the bottom of the image right here and so on. So let's keep it in the center 
maybe reduce the opacity to 50%. Also we have a offset controls which will allow us to offset the position of the logo. And finally we have a save preset option which will allow us to type a name for a preset if you have a couple of different logos that you are using for watermarks you can save them as a presets and click OK and after that when you open your project and you want to render it with your watermark just go to plugins and load watermark preset and this will load the preset and basically it's going to render out your preview with the watermark on top and this is pretty cool plugin I think you can set this to screen for example and as you can see it looks completely different so this gives you a lot of control and flexibility just inside of Cinema 4D and this is a time saver for me and hope you download this plugin and use it in your projects once again I'm Stefan for cgtutsplus.com and we'll see you next time